Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best free piano plugins and libraries that you can download. We downloaded over 20 different free pianos. Some of them were for Contact, some of them were for EXS24, some of them were their own dedicated plugins. We tested them out to put together this list. Now, in doing that, we quickly figured out and found out that there's not a lot of usable ones, let alone good ones. So backtrack to last summer, I got the chance to sample a really cool piano. Um, you guys will hear more about it in the video. And I thought, hey, this is a, a good reason to kickstart the idea of let's just release this as a free piano because there's not a lot of good ones out there. And that's exactly what we did. So it's called the Denver Grand. We're going to be debuting it in this video. And we're also going to be taking a look at six other free pianos that I actually think are worth, worth your time to download and that could make it into your music production. So we're going to check out each one in this video. Now, if you like any of these pianos, click the link in the descriptions and then you can just click through and download the piano that you want. All right, so let's dive into Logic and get started. So the piano you just heard is called the Denver Grand, and it's actually made by us. Now, I've been wanting to put together this video, this list for quite some time, and I started to research it about two months ago. And when I started to download all the free pianos I could find, I quickly realized that there weren't a lot of good ones. There weren't a lot of high quality, you know, just usable pianos for free. So what we decided to do is we decided to use some samples that we had previously gathered last summer. Uh, we sampled a piano in Denver, hence the name the Denver Grand. It was a piano that I got to use when I went to school out in Denver. And fun fact, Echo Soundworks has actually started while I lived in Denver, so it's kind of homage to our roots. And what we decided to do is we decided to turn that into a free product. Now, there's actually three versions of this piano. There's the Contact one, which you see right here, which has a custom interface, custom you know, GUI, custom script, right? And then there's a Logic EXS24 version as well as an Ableton Live version. Now, I want to quickly run through some of the controls here because uh, some of these are pretty cool. So we've got the hammer, key noise, and overtones. Those are going to add and introduce different elements of the piano. So the hammer, it's literally we sampled the hammer hitting the strings but without resonating the strings enough to hear a note. The key noise, we actually sampled each individual key, uh, but we dampened the actual hammer. We did that so you can't actually hear the strings. You just hear the key noise moving up and down. And then overtones, that's like a mix of wood sympathetic resonance and the string sympathetic resonance. And you turn that up for more of a organic, natural sounding piano. Then we have a filter and a reverb. Now, the really cool thing about this plugin, especially with the uh, contact version, is there's actually four different pianos in one, which we're gonna check out right now. So you can see if I click over here, go to Denver Grand, we have an ambient version, a cassette, and a modern house, and then the main one which you already heard. So the cassette one's really interesting. What we did was we actually resampled the entire piano through a Tascam Porta Studio, which is one of these guys right here. It just gives it this crazy lo-fi kind of chill effect and it has a little bit of a tape hiss to it as well as a little bit of warble. Got that tape, you know, flutter and wow. So let's listen to that real quick. We also made a patch called the Modern House. Now, all right, so this is actually in response or in reference to rather, or kind of it's inspired, I should say, by the most iconic house piano ever. You guys have heard this sound tons. It's it's a Korg M1 piano sound. So the Korg M1 was an old was an old sampler workstation, and it had a piano on it that house music uh, took and ran with. It was, it was like one of the you know if you if if you could say that the TR 808 909 was were big contributing rhythmic factors in house music. The Korg M1 is you know the equal to that in terms of pianos. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a modern version of that. And again, it took uh, we just resampled the piano, applied some unique processing, a little bit of OTT, and you have this really in your face, present, bright tone that's perfect for tons of different genres of house. Let's take a quick listen. All 
right, guys, so like I said, this is completely free. You can download it. The link will be in the description. And yeah, if you guys want a really good piano, I might be a little bit biased, but I think this is the best one on the list. Go download it. All right, next up is a piano called Piano in 162, made by Ivy Audio. Now, this is probably my second or third favorite free piano on this list. It just sounds good. As you heard, it has more of a ambient character, kind of a natural character than the uh, Denver Grand. The Denver Grand's like process, ready to go for most modern genres. This is a little bit more uh, indie, probably have to process a little bit. It's a very simple interface. It is for contact. You have a close mic and you have an ambient mic and you can turn each, each of those on and off. So you can just have one or the other or both. All right, so here we have the Soft Piano by Spitfire Audio, and this is part of their Labs series. You can see where it says Labs down here. Labs is Spitfire's ra range of basically free instruments, right? But not basically. They're, they are free instruments, and they have a bunch of them. They have a couple other pianos, but this is probably my favorite one. And you can see all the all the GUIs look very similar in the Labs line. If you guys don't know much about Spitfire Audio, they make you know some of the best, kind of the most deeply sam multi sample libraries for contact and their own instruments ever. I mean, they've worked with like Hans Zimmer and tons of great film score people. So definitely check them out if you haven't. If you haven't heard of Labs, check that out. Like I said, it's completely free. All right, so this third piano here is really cool. It's a contact piano, and you can see here that the interface, you know, not much to be desired, right? It's just like a stock interface in contact, but it's the tape delay uh, experimental piano, and this is from a site called the the Piano Book, and obviously link will be in the description, show, showing up on the screen here. So this was made by one of the, I believe, one of the people who um, are it's curated by one of the guys from Spitfire. Basically, the idea is to let a uh, to basically grow a user community, user base library of pianos. So you can, you know, if you have, if you can access a piano, you want to sample it, you could, in theory, submit to the piano book. And All right, so moving right along, we have the Amore Grand Piano version two, and this is for contact. I believe there's an SFZ version of this floating around the web as well. You can see here they have reverb delay, velocity response, envelope and tone, so it's a pretty full-fledged script in terms of, of its capability. And the crazy thing is it's only 10.13 or 10.31 megabytes. So let's say you have a computer and you don't have a lot of RAM, you don't have a lot of resources, this would be a good one for you to download. Uh, it's very, very light on resource. Obviously, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of sound quality with that, but again, sometimes you just got to pick and choose, or maybe you have a really dense project going, or you just want a simple piano that you can write to without bogging down your CPU. This would be a good one. All right, here we have another contact piano. It's called the Weber or Weber Baby Grand. I love Baby Grands. I like the tone. It's kind of in between an upright and a grand, hence the term Baby Grand. And this is, again, pretty full-fledged. Um, we have a pretty full-fledged little script here, and it sounds just, it's got so much vibe and character to it, right? Um, it, it, it's a it's really cool piano to mess around with lo-fi effects like RC20, you know, any of the cassette effects out there, too. It takes to those really well just because it's got that really natural organic vibe already. They pair together nicely. All right, so here we have an entire plugin dedicated towards pianos. Sound Magic Neo Piano, the Piano One. This company has a whole range of pianos. This is the free one. I believe it's a uh, Yamaha uh, or C7. I think is what they would is what they uh, model this after. Now you notice that this has a ton of different controls, right? Uh, just, so this is something that you can get in there and really tweak 
and really uh, dial in your settings as you want. Now, I believe that this isn't just purely uh, sample based. It's a little bit sample, but a little bit physical modeling as well. So if you guys have ever messed around with uh, Forefront True Pianos uh, or Modart, uh, I think it's Modart, Modart, uh, Piano Tech, or however you pronounce that, Again, that's like a algorithm creating the piano sounds, not necessarily samples. It's a different flavor, but again, for free, this is a great piano, especially for hip hop and certain genres of EDM and trap even. All right, so that's gonna sum up the video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, or maybe you think that we missed a really good free piano, please post that in the comments below. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, you know the drill. Please subscribe, the support does mean a lot. We're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. And if you guys do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you get an update when we release a new video. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.